bop to the skittly bop. I'm beep bop boo doo boo. Hello, it's me. I'm here with a slightly quieter mic because of reasons. Uh, all right, let's hit the. <sighs> That's a way to start. Some half full and asleep. All right, all right. Hello, Arjun Virzik. Welcome. We're, we're trying out High Fleet today. I don't know that much about this game. Um, mostly I saw a meme of the A Eto Ble, and it was them nuking someone, and I'm like, I want to play this game and nuke someone and have it be a massive mistake. So this will be fun. Alright, let me get this up. The magic game capture button. Boop. I always love launching a program and having it not respond. Does that feel on brand for like a weird tactical bit of nonsense like this? It's not actually crashed, is it? Like, this thing is going to launch. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's got that thing where, it, depending on how zoomed in you are, it, it shows a grid or not. Oh, that's that's weird. Okay. Oh, I, I get... Okay, let's... Let's check this thing out. Alright, while I go through the options, I'll run an ad just to get that out the way. Um. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, it does not like alt-tabbing. Oh, dear. There it goes. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. I got a borderless so I can alt tab better. Uh, glitch. Yeah, dithering. Yeah, we'll go with dithering. Yeah, so that adds that, which is a little weird, but like, I don't see why not. Stretch off. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Let's go simple. Yeah, the rest should be fine. What ship works? Oh, uh, this is where we actually build our ships. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna do the thing again, isn't it? Wow. Okay, I cannot alt tab while playing this game, huh? All right, there we go. Alright, let's try this thing out, see what happens. Um, presuming everything. Yeah, desktop's fine, game capture's fine. Yeah, it looks good. Alright. To Tarkin of the Third Task Force, my order proceed to Kalhu at once and meet with my friend. Jesus. Okay, I don't know what the fuck these names are. By Imperial Decree, you are to represent the Crown in talks with the Prince, Commander of First Drog Squadron, Admiral Dowd. The Great Desert of Garat, an ancient kingdom ruled over this land long ago until it was torn apart by strife and internecine war. Last King of Garat swore allegiance to the Romani Empire. This land seems to be doomed to bear the burden of war for all time. Seven years ago, an imperial official, the Lord Governor of Kiva, overthrew the king and declared a rebellion against the Emperor's rule. And now our turn has come. We have come to Gerard to end this once and for all. 
There it is. Wake up, Tarkin. The city of Eli is on the horizon. Our long journey is finally behind us. Everyone is eager to hear you give the order to land. Settle new destination. Move the cursor to Eli and press right click. God, this fucking HUD. This is a this is a goddamn mood. All right. Alright. Take us to Eli. Holy shit, that's so much. Well we'll let the game teach us and just go so we'll unpause. Just flying over. And we're landing. Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we've landed. Select ships to land in the docks. Uh. Hang on. So we've got Never Neverin and a Wanderer. Attack frigate. Uh, I guess we'll just take this one. QE, we rotate, WASD move. To give the order of general alarm, pull the lever. Holy shit. Oh my god. I can't fucking see. Alright, I gotta slow down a bit. Alright. Right, no, there we go. And... There we go. Holy shit, okay. Humming of the pump drive suddenly dies down. The ship comes to a stop. You prepare to descend a ramp, accompanied by a small group of officers and your personal guard. The uncertainty that awaits you outside fills you with unease. A small group of people are waiting patiently for you at the bottom of the ramp. Their leader is a dignified nobleman surrounded by bodyguards. Right. So, the Admiral sent you to talk to me, Tarkin? Immense mindset. Ah, uh, my allies. And my morale. Okay. Alright. Tarkin. Sadia Dynasty. Yep. That is correct. I'm here to discuss your involvement in the liberation of Garat. Liberation? We've been war at war with the Gathering for s over seven years. And I still have yet to recover my father's throne, and now his Imperial Majesty's admirals mean to retake it in a single week. Indeed they do, and I believe they'll succeed. Minus one. Mm. My people cannot match the strength of the gathering. Okay, so that's us. We have but a single corvette for each of their heavy cruisers. Your people have fought bravely all these years. Aye, but even if, by the Almighty's mercy, the Admirals land their ships in Kiva, what do you imagine will happen next? I just stayed in the known world. God damn. That isn't up to me. You are honest, if nothing else. I'll help you meet with the Tarkins of Garat. Perhaps some of them may become your allies in the war. The Tarkin of Kalu is a good friend of mine. If you can come to an understanding with him, I'm confident he will be a worthy ally. Where the allies are exactly what we need right now. It's a shame we've had to meet you in such troubled times, Duke. 
The fleet has never had anything but troubled times. Indeed. Holy shit. This is the town. Okay. We're the only ship landed here, too. Alright. So what supplies can we get? We can buy fuel. Ah, okay. So we can buy right up to 100%. No, no, no. Holy shit, hang on. You can buy bombs. What the fuck? Okay, so how do I say that's how much fuel I want? I guess I'll, I'll just take that. Uh, aircraft bomb, rocket, incendiary, uh, incendiary. what about just some bullets? Proximity fuse, fuse, laser guided. What about just an aircraft rocket? Let's just take, what, what, no, we can't use any of them, okay. What about the bomb? Nope. So, if I exit... Does that buy me fuel? I don't know if that that's like I've bought the fuel or not. Oh. Okay. Okay, so hitting escape just takes us back. So are we heading for Kelo now? Uh... Yoda, why did Dao choose us to meet with the Prince? Since there's nothing left for which to fight the Gathering. These talks are a mere formality. As for the Admirals, they're eager to reach Northern Garat as soon as possible. But I'll have to talk to Earth first. So you're saying Dao was trying to get rid of me? The campaign has only just begun. Our Emperor opportunity to prove yourself. We've got the fuel, but it'll be some time before our ships are done refueling. Very well, I'll wait. Okay. Okay. So so we buy the fuel and then we come back here and wait while it refuels. Ready to fly your orders. What about the fuel? Yeah, about 150, enough for about 1,500 kilometers of flight. What do you think of this entire expedition, General? Here to the south of Garat, they have nothing but old corvettes commanded by local dukes. Ur will surely fall, it's only a matter of, matter of time. I didn't ask you about Ur, General. And but an aid to his excellency, it isn't my place to question orders. Still, what do you think? If I may, Tarkin, our numbers are thin. Even if Dowd and Skobolev join their squadrons, fear it won't be enough to take Kiva. And yet you agreed to join this campaign. You're an infantry general, not a fleet officer. Why did you volunteer for this? Why do you think, Duke? You must have volunteered to support me in this new position. My father asked you to assist me, didn't he? Very well. Order to take off, I'll choose our destination once we're in the air. So that, that's our flight range, okay. Makes, oh Jesus. Alright, so I guess next we'd go to Shamir. We go to cruising speed. Holy shit, this fucking game's something special, alright. That's a lot of different, uh, strike craft. Alright. Let's, let's fly. God damn! 
the effort put into this, like, the HUD alone is kind of nuts. I'll be real. So can I draw on this thing? Yeah, sure enough. What else we got? I can measure distance. As well as just use a ruler. Okay. That's cool. Man, it's like actual tactical shit. I can ask for funds, but that's not important right now. Full stock. Their morale's good. What else we got? Jesus. I mean, it definitely feels like we're in a fucking um, plane with a bunch of buttons I probably shouldn't press. I'm concerned about what this button is. Okay. That's, uh... It's like a whole other thing. Alright. I guess that's, that's for if we have other aircraft. We got the radio. Oh my god. It's like an actual fucking radio. How the fuck am I meant to know how to use that? Jesus. Direction finder. Oh my god. Alright. Let's get to town. Low fuel. Yeah, I know. You have just barely enough, huh? God damn. Uh, simple. Oh, I think we're under attack. Try to shoot in bursts. Empty the ammo cassette and maneuver while recharging. That'll. B oh, shit. Alright! Where am I? I don't know where I am. There I am. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this? Holy shit! Oh, getting shot at, getting shot at! Squadron comprised of several ships. To make it retreat from battle, the next shipping or else will enter battle automatically. This one's been wounded. Uh, it may be best to go to the next one. Go to the retreat marker, mate. Get the fuck out of there. Nope. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, one. Oh, God. Yep. All right. Next. Next ship. Holy shit. The there we go. Destroyed. Okay. That's, uh... God damn. That's something, all right. Did we land? I think we've landed. Okay. Jesus. Alright. Uh, hang on. They all, uh, crew 115, they're... Okay, it looks like all the injuries were just... Yeah, they look alright now. Alright. Um. Alright, so we'll just, we'll just land with that first one. Yeah, I know. Alright. There we go. 
The full fucking suicide burn going on in here. Talking, sir. We have an opportunity to repel any missiles on our ships. I highly recommend we do so. Very well. This is a roster of all your ships. I love the fucking hand. All the ships in your squadron, sir. Move just down the, sh the screen to the ship's maintenance panel. Purchase the missile. Missile. And install it onto a free hardpoint on the ship. You can install more missiles on other ships in a similar fashion. Alright. What else we got? Okay, so they're all repairing. That's alright. They can speed up repairs by landing it in the docks. That's fine. I don't think I need that right now. Okay. And then that one, which I don't know if that... Yeah, it does. That one has multiple hard points, actually. Alright. Uh, repair. These are all repairing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll exit. Buy supplies. Refill on fuel. Jesus. Okay, can't even max out. Aircraft missile. No. Alright. So this is all special ammunition. I guess we don't need to worry about that. Just reported our progress to the Admiral. He is satisfied. The Admiral treats me like a clueless child. He seems to have forgotten that I'm the son of his liege, the Emperor. Kept a little as far away. Until we return, Admiral Dowd is the one in command. He leads the squadron, and you, Duke, are a Tarkin in his squadron. We'll depart as soon as we're ready. Then we're refueling, repairing. Alright. Squadron is done refueling, we're ready to go. No, they're still repairing. There they go. I guess now we go to Kalu and find out whatever the fuck's going on up there. Hi, Ellen Azal. This game is atmospheric as hell. Like, it's actually kind of insane. We f we're we flying a giant fucking cruiser in the sky and um, essentially playing Lunar Lander with guns when combat and shit starts. Uh, those are enemies, aren't they? Oh boy. Speaking of. This ought to be fun. Afterburners. Activate reheat is shift. Increase thrust while performing defensive or... Alright, reheat for more than... So okay. So I can do short bursts. I'll take it. Curses. Enemy air defense spotted. Focus on the enemy ships. We'll capture the ground vehicles once this battle is over. And watch out for missiles. Alright. Let's see if I can do this shit. Combat this game's fucking scary. Ships armed with missiles. Spend stuff. Okay. Fuck. I didn't see what that said. Fire each use. Spend the. Oh, Jesus. Yep. 
Yep. All right, get the fuck out. I know what honor means. I should probably get out my other, my other thing. Go. Retreat. Launch more missiles. They pass out since you worked it. Oh my god, both of them missed! Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. Just, hey, enjoy, enjoy what you can. If you gotta go to sleep, go to sleep. It is New Year's. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh my god, that one's nearly fucking destroyed. Alright. You land, you land. The rest should be fine. Roll angle control is lurching dangerously. Use Q yep, that's fine. Oh my god, it lost one of its fucking landing gears. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's very not great, actually. Um, so here's the thing. How's it gonna fucking land if it's missing one of its... Oh, uh, we're just gonna have to gently set this thing down, huh? Oh, fuck me. Okay, this'll be fun. I would very much like to get it in the 54, because... There we go. Yep, yep. Holy shit, this thing is falling apart. Just, just get in there. Get in there. Get. Oh my god, it's burning. This thing's fucking burning up just by flying down here. Oh, come on. Come on, you fucking... There you go. There you go. Holy shit. That thing was barely... That was not like... That thing was not safe. The thing was falling apart at the seams. Alright. Speed up. And the landing. There we go. Perfect. Perfect fucking landing. Alright. They'll repair faster, which is good. Yeah, one of them is on fire. What a stunning dogfight, Duke. Were you aware of the hostile anti-air defenses in Kalu Prince? No, I was not. The Tarkin is expecting you, Duke. And indeed, there is a delegation awaiting you by the ship. A tall man steps forward. He is wearing the armor of a Harishid. Former car guardsman of the King of Garat. Huh. Vox Populi. Okay. Glory to Garat. And welcome. Proud Elaine, the desert folk. I, peace be upon you, my lord. I am Imlen Harish, Doyen of Kalu. I'm looking for allies to wage war on Kiva. Will you join us? Get my full attention. Speak your mind. Huh. Hmm. He is a lamer desert folk before Jurat became part of the Mambu Rumpa. Um, let's go with respect. The people fear you less. They look far more confident now. Um, here, a gilded dagger as a gift. Truly priceless gift. Greatly values force. Okay. So, uh, Sayadi is a good friend and a fearsome foe. People fear you more. <laughs> I don't know, what, but it was a good speech. Okay. Seems somewhat alarmed at your words. I don't know what the star means. Oh, that's how much they like me. Okay. With the injustice. 
have how the weak appear to justice to undermine the strong. Words elicit no reaction. Of, a, of the injustice seen throughout Garat. Hmm. Of the great destiny of the Romani Empire? Hmm. Give a gift to get an extra ten. Success, you can end this conversation now. Well said, well said. That was a pleasant talk, Duke. So, what have you decided? Will you join us? I will join you gladly, Grand Duke. I want to meet the other Tarkins. You know where to find them. There aren't any Tarkins around here, Duke. I've never heard of any. Thank you, I appreciate it. We got a new character. And a new ship. Nice. And a fuckload of money. Also nice. Uh, alright. Let's go to Shipworks. Make sure everything's getting repaired. Oh my god, there's there's a lot of bits now. You're getting repaired, right? Yeah. You, you're you going to take a while, but you need to be fully repaired. So do you. Uh, I think you're fine. Yeah, the rest are fine. They're not damaged. Alright. Uh, we'll buy missiles. All parts. Ah, that's to repair it. Okay. What if I want... Would you use small quarters? Jesus. So I could, like, build a whole ship if I really tried. Ammo parts. No, that's fine. I just... Do you have missiles? I don't think they sell missiles. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Well, I guess we'll just leave that as a repair. Um, excellent. And we'll get some... Tarkin, sir. Some of our ships are in need of repair and the city has a shipyard. We would do well to repair them here. I'll handle it at once. God, they've not got much fuel here. Hmm. I can buy an incendiary. That's fun. As for the rest, though, not really. By proximity fuse for the gladiator. Back to the ship. This ship is in need of repair. Yeah, I already did. We don't have necessary spare parts. Thankfully, we do while we're here. They're getting there. Um, but yeah. High frequency radio antenna. Pod. Ship's crew, ship's crew. Yeah, I, d I don't see anything. Good. Yeah, alright, I guess we'll just leave that then. Um, because we can't buy any missiles for this. Alright. Receiving a transmission from Dowd, at last. Talking of the third task force. On my order, seize the city of Malaya and await our main forces there. Commander of First Squadron, Admiral Dowd. It seems Dowd is reluctant to assault Melka with the board of bulk of his forces. He's sending us ahead in case they have anti-air defenses ready. Means this is our chance to get into the thick of things. So we're refueling and departing for Melka? Affirmative. Alright. Everyone refuel and repair. I don't know that we'll have fuel to get there. That's concerning. Okay. Thank you. I, I really needed more fuel than that. Alright. There we go. Now we just wait while everything gets repaired. As I ain't going anywhere. Merchants for modules, what's that? I don't know. Just a flag, whatever that means. Rendezvous with the first squadron. There they go! To Melka! Alright. What the 
hell else can we even do here? Sunstrike probably. Do I have a radar? What, do I want the radar to be on? I don't know. I wish I could have had more missiles, but I'll take what I can get. I'm repairing, so alright. Alright. Volley fire. Allow the full charge up and fire. My cassette window is easier to determine the amount. Indicated green went out. Volley fire increases the chances to hit an enemy and you can concentrate on maneuvering while reloading is in progress. Right, because it wants you to, to wait till it's full, then unload. Alright. Let's let's give this a shot. Burner, we got dodge a missile. Okay. All right, we should get this one the fuck out of here. It's getting shot too much. Nice. Solid hit. All right, you get out. That with another missile. Alright, we dodged it. Alright, you get out, because if you catch fire, you're fucked. Next. The oh, it's full. That one's destroyed. There we go. Got him. Alright, nice. And we can land. Alright, so we'll send down the ones that were damaged. Ooh, 94. Yeah, let's take you in there. You were shot a lot. You were shot a lot, but you were also... Oh, you do not slow down fast. Okay. Let's be careful here. Um, are you gonna let, get... Are you gonna fit? I know that you'll fit. No, you don't fit. Never mind, get out. Get out. Okay, that ship is literally too big to land in there. I guess that explains why it's 94. Got a nice landing gear, though. Alright, you can go on the 94 then. Why not? You should fit. You're my smallest type of ship. Alright. Oh, go, 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 go. There it is. Nice. Right in there. Perfect. Perfect landing. Fill on supplies. Oh. Ship works. Repair. Yes. Repair. Yes. What do we got? We got pod uh, generator. And for being fuel efficient. Eh, still no missiles. We'll just leave it at repairing then. 
The game has been saved. You can now reload the campaign from this point at any time. The watch reports squadron approaching. Understood. I'm on my way. Piotr, Grand Duke, Admiral. Well, you have my congratulations, gentlemen. The campaign has proven to be a great success so far. And I am confident, Admiral, that we owe this success to the Duke's talents. The Admiral looks at you without saying a word. How did your talks with Prince Fazil go? I hope you followed your orders to the letter. Affirmative, Admiral. Good. Our next target is the city of Ur. We will join Skobolev, commander of the second squadron. Skobolev squadron there and begin our advance to nor towards northern Gerat. You've proven your mettle, Grand Duke. I will entrust you with the mission to seize Ur by force. The cruiser Diana and several intrepid class frigates will be transferred to your command. Thank you for the confidence, Admiral. Good. I shall not detain you any longer then. Pyotr Ignatievich, Grand Duke. Hey, we've actually got like a thing here. Ground contact sector search. I don't know what this is, but we've got it. Tarkin, sir, we've intercepted a radio transmission. Pick up the phone quickly. Choose the band. Turn your knob until you have a signal. Great, we have the signal. Now I need to determine the bearing. And the antenna knob using... In a direction with the strongest signal. Go this is the right direction. Press the button to save your calculations. It's a transmission from the enemy strike group and it's uncoded. We'll arrive in approximately 12 hours. In terms of speed, heading southwest route... I might require on arrival drinking water 20 tons. We know their bearing and destination. Strike groups are powerful enemy ship formations that hunt you. Best course of action is to avoid them at all times. Where are they going? They're going to Hamat. Excellent. We'll outmaneuver them. Now, Duke. Take the ships and go to Ur by way of Kashan. We'll take off as soon as we're ready, Admiral. I see. Let's wait for the ships to refuel. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they're repaired. Evade the enemy strike group. Let's go. Kashan. Alright, and off we go. So we've got like actual radar shit now. Just to keep an eye out for these strike groups that are trying to hunt us down. That's uh, something. God damn. We need to make sure the enemy strike group never learns of our movements. To keep our location safe, we must destroy the garrison in Kushan before they can sound the alarm. Our cruiser is too slow. It is unsuitable for a surprise attack. Need to form a group of our fast ships and use them to attack the enemy. Here you can see the chance that a sudden strike will succeed with the current group. Oh boy. Choose the fastest ships in your squadron based on their speed stat. So that's the Intrepids. And this ship. Excellent. The group is ready. Now send it to Kushan. Can I not? I'm not allowed to send more. All right. Once the group has completed its mission, order it to rejoin the squadron. So they're running off. Oh boy. Um. All right. Uh, then, yep, okay, then we're fighting with them. Alright, so we can send groups ahead 
to uh, do the strike attacks. That's interesting. Alright. And they're shooting at us again. God, it's hard to aim this shit. Ah, that's not great. Alright, you should probably retreat. Ammo explosion, fuck. Oh, those are fast missiles, holy shit. Get out of there. Alright, next. You got no missiles, that's fine. He immediately hit our fuel. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's not good. Ugh. There we go, got one. Holy shit. And we nearly crashed into it. Go me. Come on. You caught fire again? God damn it. Blow up the damn enemy. What the fuck this honor is? Come on. Come on, you got this. How are they able to aim so well? I can't do that shit. There we go. Holy shit. That was a close one. Not great. Not great. Still, they got it. That's what matters. Alright, y'all did a good job. I'll return. Can I tell them to return? Um. Alright, there should be like, oh, well I can tell them to wait in the town, but, it okay. So let's say I want them to return, how do I tell them to come back? Is there a button for that, or do I just gotta click on me? Here's we don't have enough fuel for the next link, and we'll have to turn to the city and purchase fuel there, I'll take care of it. Okay, no, they're just waiting in town then. What if I say for you two to go? No. Nope. Alright, I guess we'll meet up with them in town. That's fine. Yep, that brings them back. Okay. Alright. Uh, you, you... Yeah, this will heal fast enough in this ship anyway. Just land these two. God, you don't even have any landing gear, are you kidding me? What the fuck? You ain't got jack shit, mate. Oh wait, no, there it is. Oh, he's intact enough. It's, you know, enough. Geesh. I don't know about the next one, though. God damn. There we go. And I fucked it. God damn it. Rip me. Jesus, look at this thing. It is not... Holy crap. How's this thing gonna land? I don't... Maybe I shouldn't have sent this thing down. 
Oh shit. Alright. Barely, barely holding on here. There we go. God damn. Alright. Supplies, more fuel. Ship works, repair everything. Wish it was like a repair all button, but I guess they want to make sure you're not just mindlessly clicking. Even though that's kind of what I'm doing. Alright, have you got missiles? You don't have missiles, do you? Fuck me. Never any fucking missiles. Alright, whatever. What about the supplies? They've got, like, special ones. Armor-piercing, uh, aircraft missile, incendiary. Uh, oh, let's, let's buy some of this shit. Why not? Oh, no, that's, like, ammo. That's not what I really what I'm after. I'd really rather some missiles, but air-to-air -air missile. Oh, fuck it. I'll buy five, six of these and see what happens. Go to ship works. And no, I don't have any, they're not here. Okay, whatever. Just got off the line with the squadron. Any news from the capital? Not much, the situation's still grim. Rebels are firmly entrenched in Kadim Ridge. It'll be a long while before we can drive them out. And what of the reactor everyone's talking about? Does it really exist? Everyone's talking? Piotr's voice trails off. He looks at you for several seconds in silence. You should probably ask the Admiral about that, Grand Duke. Oh, boy. We're gonna be here a while. Our ships are in a fucking disaster position. Ooh, look, that's one of those magic buttons where I get to go... Boop. Ah, oh, that's always fun. Alright. Oh shit, radio signal. Average speed, 100 degree course southeast, my route, Hamat, Melka. Okay, we'll be fine. God damn. So, hang on. We got those missiles, right? Let me go back to town for a sec. So, are those like in my thing? No? I just have missiles somewhere, I don't know where. I'm at 100%, yeah I am at 100% fuel. Fueling control, that's fine. In a calm, yeah. Oh goodness. That's what happens when you get shot to shit, I guess. Well, what's up? Average speed flying south following the loot milk. Yep, we're good. Uh, they're leaving us be. Essentially went around them. All right, to err. And no one knows what might be waiting for us, Duke. Should to go and get tough? Tough, I ask. I ask that you request reinforcements from the admiral. I would never put my men at risk just to save face. But I'd hit that Duke. 
Should you require reinforcements, just use the internal comms to contact the Admiral. Okay. We're good for the moment, but that's there if we need it. We'll bring our whole thing, because we ain't trying to sneak around here. Yeah, so that's them reporting us. That's alright. Alright. Prize ship, transport. Transport ship will surrender if you destroy his escort. Try not to damage the transport so that we can can be sold for a good price. Alright. Let's go. Ooh, direct hit. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. The ship's critical, you still have a chance. Order your men to abandon the ship, press T. Yep, it's critical. Get out. Yeah, okay. So that was, it was on fire, but um, we had no fire suppression. At that point, you just accept it and move on. God damn it. I can't hit anything in this fucking game. Oh no. Oh, you get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Holy shit. Never claimed to be good at this game. Oh my god. That's a big fucking. Ugh. Yep, alright, you out too. Oh, you can't fire anymore. Okay. Get out. Says so ship has an auxiliary cannon, fast, agile targets. Fire auxiliary, press right click. Man, you got a big fucking cannon, huh? You're a big boy, ain't ya? Holy shit. Can only be used once, but they work wonders against the Toulons and AA missile press C. I mean, they can only be used once. Fucking missiles. Damn it. Alright, you're not leaving yet. Because you're still burly as fuck. Got him. The enemy has been destroyed. Yeah! There we go. There we go. Got him. Holy shit, the Nomad's a beast! Though it's actually really weak, I should be careful. Oh, not weak, but it's running low. That's it though, we won! We took, uh... Let's get crew reassigned to other ships. Yeah, we only lost one ship. I think that's pretty good. Alright. Let's land. I'll take you, you... Yep, that'll do. Um, I think you'll you can land in the forty two, pretty sure. Alright. And we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice. 
Alright, you, oh, you need to, you're, you're, um, hmm, yeah, you ain't functioning much now, are ya? Okay. Easy now. It's alright. Ain't got much left on this thing, but that's fine. Yep, oh, that ain't great, that ain't great, that ain't great. Holy shit, that was close. It's things landing on its fucking, like, metal. That's alright, just let it land. Let it land. And the big boy Nomad! Let's see if you can fit in the 60... You're not gonna fit in the 62, are ya? Oh, if you can at least get in the 10, that'd be nice. I don't even know... I genuinely don't know if this thing will fit. It's fucking huge. There we go. Oh, that was a landing. Beep. Let, let me try that again. Okay, yep. That was a bad landing. At least it lets you have a do over. Slow way the fuck down. Oh, that's not great. A uh, little squished. Little squished. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right. Let's let's stop being so stupid about this, eh? You in the forty-two. Come on now. There we go. Alright. That's why I landed that one there, so it slid down a bit. And beautiful. Alright, round two. It's fucking intrepid, man. It's just... Oh, it, it really wants to plummet, huh? Alright, easy. Easy now. This thing has got bad. This thing's got nothing left. It's alright. It's alright. We're gonna take this real slow as we're going down. Easy. Easy now. Easy. Just bit by bit. Let that bit fall. That's fine. Things already barely got anything to land on. There we go. You? You don't have shit to land on. You're going in the five this time. I've learnt my lesson. Also, you, you, I gotta slow you down now, or else you're gonna crash. There we go. It's a little bit faster. There we go. Nice clean landing. Arrival in Ur. As we entered the city of Ur, a large crowd of people welcomed us as heroes with cries of joy. Congratulations, Duke. What a glorious victory. Well done, Mark. Now all the naysayers will have no choice but to shut their mouths. I swear, even Dowd will rejoice in today's success. Thank you, Piotr. Shall I report to the Admiral? Certainly. Why wait? That was the moment when we realized that the hearts of the people in Garat were on our side. What a beautiful day it was. We celebrated our victory in the present without a care in the world for what lay ahead of us.
By order of High Command, remain in Ur and await further instructions. I have been ordered to return to our po point of origin, no explanation provided. Commander of the Second Squadron, Admiral Skobolev. On the morning of the sixth day, the observation station reported a large vessel approaching from the south. All our forces were put on high alert. It was a lone ship, approaching slowly and showing no signs of aggression. Hope began to spread among the officers. Perhaps it was one of Skobolev's vessels, but when it got close enough we recognized it. The Imperial Cruiser Sevastopol. It was staggeringly gigantic, a veritable flying mountain. We assembled an honor guard and prepared to meet the crew. But, to our astonishment, the first man to step down the ramp was a tall Elaine wearing a golden mask. Behind him was an endless crowd of people with terrible burns and gruesome wounds. All of them were manic from the capital. It was from them that we heard the terrible news. Uh-oh. The capital of the Empire had suffered a nuclear strike four days ago. Sayadi's stronghold burned down in an instant, reduced to a smoldering desert of radioactive waste. What remained of the Imperial fleet was in disarray, trying desperately to fight off the Gathering's advancing forces. We were at a loss for words. We didn't know what to do. Most of us wanted to head for the capital and join the battle, knowing that the war was already as good as lost. Well, shit. We were the greatest fleet in the... Okay. I guess that's it. The strongest fleet in the skies ain't no shit for a nuclear strike. Gentlemen, I have assembled you here to discuss our future activities in light of the most recent events. My opinion is this. We must press on and continue our advance towards Kiva. Pyotr Ignatyevich. The news from the capital has rendered this entire operation moot. We must return to the motherland at once, the sooner the better. On the contrary, taking Kiva is more important than ever. You will allow me to elucidate. I've had several lengthy conversations with the crew of the, this Sevastopol. It pains me to say this, but I'm convinced that the war in the south is lost. Returning to the motherland will spell certain doom for us. We all had similar suspicions. Now that those fears had been put into words, many of the officers averted their gaze. Then what do you propose, Pyotr? There was an exhaustion in the doubt's voice. The rebel fleet is currently engaged in heavy combat in the south. Now is the time to mount an offensive in the north and take Kiva by force. And what comes next? We'll just delay the inevitable. Sooner or later they will come to Kiva. I have reason to believe that our int intel on the reactor is accurate. If we can seize it, they won't fight back. They will come to the bargaining table to the re ensure the reactor is intact. Perhaps we might be able to strike a deal. Piotr looked around as the officers considered his words. We have to send a vessel to re-establish communications with the capital, once we have a reliable line to the south. There's no time for that, Sheriff Ra Ramotovich. If we do not mount an assault on Kiva here and now, it will be too late. We spent the rest of the night and the entire following day discussing Piotr's plan. Eventually, we agreed to send a cruiser Diana to the south in a bid to re-establish communications with the Empire. The rest of our forces hastily began preparations to reach Kiva and assault it. The Sevastopol became the flagship of a new squadron. At some point, an officer asked who would command the offensive. Pyotr readily replied with a plan of his own. He stood up and spoke with confidence. No one yet knows what has befallen the Emperor, he said. So the Grand Duke... The sole legitimate heir of the dynasty must lead what remains of the Romani fleet in this offensive. Admiral Dowd barked at the idea, but his furious cries of protest were ignored. The officers eagerly supported the general's decision. Suggestion. The thought of the heir to the throne leading the charge himself did wonders for their morale. 
The unanimous support they showed me was certainly uplifting, but at the same time I was terrified. A moment ago I had been Tarkin, but now I was the embodiment of the entire Romani Empire in their eyes. Alright. Well, that's something. Grand Duke, you must choose the ships that will join us for the Kiva Offensive. Can you give me a hint? Take the red ones. These are workhorses. Maybe one or two tankers for them. That's a Sevastopol. Holy shit. Air to ground, no. Air superiority? I like that. Ever in close range aerial combat gladiator. Um Nomad's fucking expensive, can't afford that. These are all auxiliary. What are the tankers then? What was that? Vessel is an aircraft carrier with planes at the ready. Huh. Nuclear missile character. Jesus. Uh, yeah, let's not with that. Oh shit. I'm not two tankers to support them. Um. Oh, fuck me. I don't know what to bring. Lightning. I'll bring some variety, I guess. Designed to extend a range of strike. Ah. Okay. AA defense. Defense. Okay. So so we'll bring bring one tanker and we'll bring Trepid, Gladiator, and Neverin. Well Let, let's go with that for now. Ship rolls. Interceptor, tanker, early warning, missile carrier. Alright, let's let's try with this and see what happens. Okay, so this is the game proper now. So for those who are already familiar, throws the pat play into the thick of battles. Easy if you have no desire to understand and easy okay. So we'll go for normal then. Like to get the most out of the game and are willing to spend some time mastering it. Saving the game in checkpoints, smooth the start of the campaign, but it won't be easy to finish it. Okay. So we'll go uh, Skylark, Lightning, Wanderer, Gladiator. And something a little different might be fun. Um, a Yaris. That, that sounds nice. A defense. There's something with a lot. Uh, Under a lightning, Skylark, and then a Navarin. Alright. Let's see how this goes. We were days away from departing for Kiva to begin our offensive when that strange Elaine in the Golden Mask approached me. No Elaine can endure the open air for long, so many of them hide their faces. I'd grown used to that. Where? They're a desert folk. Huh. This one was unlike the others. People began to whisper when he walked by. Other lames called him Al Sahir and treated him with particular reverence. I know that Dowd questioned him. He tried to get him to talk about the people who came with him on the Sevastopol, but he apparently didn't get very far. Your lame convinced the crew of the Sevastopol to take the ship to Ur, and that is all we know about him. I cannot imagine what he did to convince them, but in doing this... He earned our eternal gratitude. 
Without the cruiser on the side, the Kiva offensive will be impossible. Grand Duke, allow me to speak with you. This was the first time I had ever heard his voice. The mask muffled it so much I couldn't discern his age. I hope you know... Uh, I know you hope the Tarkins of Jurat will sp support you against Kiva. The infamous Omar Khan has found refuge to the northeast of Ur. I believe he can be a loyal ally to you. If you meet him, I kindly ask you to give him this. Master Galen presents you with a small, delicate pot. Elaine bows to you and leaves. Look inside. Covered in a strange ointment. The smell is strong and heavy, but quite pleasant. So a Tarkin has found refuge in the city to the northeast of here. It would make sense to seek him out. Would you like me to brief you on the operation, Grand Duke? Certainly. Very well. Our objective is to capture the Kiva reactor. The city of Kiva is in the northern, northern reaches of Garat. Protected by the governor's own squadron, we need to force them out of the city. It is imperative that the reactor remain completely intact, which means that nuclear strikes against Kiva are not an option. However, we will face far worse threats to the success of this operation before we even reach Kiva. According to our intel, there are five gathering strike groups equipped with nuclear weapons somewhere in Garat. I strongly suggest avoiding the middle cross. Oh Jesus Christ, they're gonna fucking nuke me. The strike groups move from city to city on average once a day. If an enemy spots us and has the time to report it... Alright. Strike groups will try and get close to us and fire missiles. So we need to steer clear of them and track their movements at all times. Information about the movement of strike groups can be obtained for, from radio interception. Or by capturing one of the Troposcatter communication stations. Due to Gurat's vast size, the enemy has had to use these stations to send messages. Even one such station could supply us with priceless intel on the strike group's whereabouts. As well as the location of their aircraft carriers. And their missile carriers. All of which is of extreme importance if we are to prevail in this operation. The aircraft carriers, for one, can deploy attack aircrafts from as far as 2,000 kilometers away. We must always keep this in mind. And lastly, there are also transport ships moving to and fro between the cities of Garat. They are hardly, if ever, escorted and could be easy pickings for us. A captured transport ship could be quickly ransomed for a sizable sum in any city, Duke, and we could really use some extra funds. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Alright. So this is happening now. Yeah, we're, we're gonna fucking die. Didn't realize it was a roguelike, but I can't say I'm upset about it. Alright. Can I, like, turn on my radar? I'll just take its word for it. Alright. Let's go. See what happens. I'm gonna end up getting fucking nuked. Wait, do I have nuclear missiles? Hold up. Have, have I got two nuclear missiles just sitting around? Oh my god, I think I've got two nuclear missiles just in my cruiser. Oh my god. Okay. Um, that's slightly intimidating. I, I kind of don't like that I have that option to nuke the shit out of someone. It's, uh, it's a little unsettling, to be, to be frank. Oh god. I thought because I didn't take the nuclear missile carrier, I didn't have any. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Shall we prepare a strike group? No, we'll hit them with everything we've got.
Anna Maria sent warning message. Local garrisons will sound the alarm. Yep, that's all right. All along, the strike groups will change course, but if they have probably send planes first. Transport ships will change course as well and try their best to stay out of danger. Okay. Yeah, I, I know we've only just started. It should be fine. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Alright. Um. Okay, I don't want that out first. I'll start with the... That, so the faster pole's like our last line of defense, you know? So we're gonna, we're gonna swap those around. You can stay there, you're just a tanker. Alright. I can never tell how many missiles I have. Yeah. Son of a bitch. There we go. See, easy start. Maybe I should have sent a strike group. Okay, that's fine. Could be survivors on the surface, Duke. If we don't save them, people will talk. We could salvage something valuable, something we could sell in the city, and we could certainly use the money. But we must act quickly. The fire is spreading. It will consume the wreckage before long. Be careful out there, my duke. Some of the things you find may be dangerous. Okay. Um, some of the tanks were left undamaged. Still save some of the ammunition. Barrel closing weapon system. I would like... That protection 50% chance of an accident. Hang on. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, I can get that. Search. Search. Oh, I've got to do one at a time. Oh, shit. Uh, can I rescue them? Hey, there we go. Alright, we'll go to that. That's it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now I understand how that works. Um, we we'll... Sears pair. Nah, we're fine. The Kinless. As you oversee the loading operations, you notice a band of men approaching your ships from the desert. The guards escort them to you. The eldest of the men introduces himself as Yehuda, son of Kazim. He states that he has been fighting the governor's men for a long time and is overjoyed to see the son of the, his emperor with his own eyes. He and his men have a ship. He humbly begs to join your squadron in exchange for his unwavering loyalty. You should be wary of him, Duke. His father, Kazim, was the leader of a gang of bandits who used to terrorize people all over Garat. My father crossed swords with him and eliminated the pirates. But now I see that the apple has not fallen far from the tree. You should arrest these men here and now while you still can. As Fazil walks away, Pyotr addresses you wistfully. In troubled times such as these, it can be difficult to tell a bandit from a freedom fighter. Even if Fazil's father fought Yehuda's father, that does not mean that Yehuda is cut from the same cloth. I would like him to join. Yehuda's men shout for joy the moment they hear your answer. Some of your officers appear grim, however. Ridiculous, you hear them mutter. We're officers of the fleet, and now we're sharing our rations with pirates? That's fine. Ah, whatever. I'd rather have a new ship than not. Nice big chunk of fuel. Alright. And the ship works. We can repair the one thing. Gladiator, was it? Yeah. I believe everything else is fine. Wait, do you have missiles? You don't have missiles, do you? Fuck. No one has any fucking missiles. 
Post Hull. There's the cannons. Fuel tanks. That's fine. All right, we're, we're just going to leave things as is. I don't trust myself enough to do the other shit. All right. So, if I'm like... So, so if I just like... If the say I clicked on that... Oh, cool! I could just nuke that if I wanted to. Alright, sure. That's not unsettling. It's alright. Just gotta refuel. No one's near us either. That's why I thought it's fine if they raise the alarm. Maybe I didn't need that much fuel, huh? Oh well. Spent too much time here. Someone's going to send a message to the governor. Well, that's all right. I'm refueling. I would like a lot of fuel. Trust me on this one. Maybe I should have done that where it's cheaper fuel, huh? Oh well. Alright. Let's, um... I don't need room for it. Yeah, let's... Let's go to Herbal, actually. We'll cut across things a bit here. The signal center would be good. Periscribe route? Yes. I'll send my faster ships, which is actually most of them, to be fair. No, I don't need the Skylark. Send y'all ahead. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. Ship carries a bomb payload and several... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're not focusing too hard on the ground-based stuff. Mainly thinking about the... Uh, is, wait, is it just ground-based stuff? Oh, shit. Alright, never mind. That's different. Oh, fuck me. Okay. They launched. Oh, that's okay. So you can like bomb them before they've launched yet. All right, there we go. That's all right. Continue. Nice. All right. Um, your tanks dismantles good. Crew protection. Uh, it's gonna cost. I don't have the cash. Um, I would like to find survivors, and they're gone, and that's gone. Okay, well, rip. Wait till we're here. How much cash do I have? I don't think I've got enough. Slightly concerning. Uh, we don't need to land, though. That's nice. To the officer's chagrin, your lame allies are not above claiming slaves after a battle. Its people have no master now, Sahib. They used to belong to the Noyons you defeated, and now they belong to us by law. We can sell them for a tidy profit, and share it among all the warriors equally. You will have the first share, Sahib. Or perhaps you wish to keep one of them for yourself? 
I forbid slave trading of any kind. Let the prisoners go. The Elaines respond with a deafening silence. You brace yourself for mutiny, but the tense moment soon passes, and the Elaines walk away and do as they are told, glancing around ominously. Jeez. I have not got much in the way of cash. Alright, that's fine. Um... That's, that's alright. We have not got much in the way of fuel, that's fine. We're gonna try and get some cash out of the next thing we do. Uh, yeah, alright. So we've got the, we've got the range. Let's go to the signal center next. There we go. Yep, no, it's in the strike group head. Um, I don't know. We're just gonna send and the lightning just in case. Yeah. All right. Give this a shot. Let's see if we can bomb any of them before they notice us. Get out. Shit, that thing could turn. Okay, that's fine. Get more hits in. Come on. Get the fuck. There we go. Nice. Most of the crew survived, so that's fine. Alright. Jeez, there's a lot of shit around here. Hey, repair parts. Alright. Feel safe. Uh, what about that? Search for crew cabins. Hey, front icon. Alright. Um. That's probably gonna blow up. Got it! Nice! Good shit! Okay. Uh, let's land. I only ship got blown up, that's fine. Ship works. You gotta repair yourself a bit. 
large quarters. Do we need to worry about selling shit? Yeah, hang on. Can I sell... There we go. Nice. Now we got some cash again. Okay, so that's that's the way to earn some cash out of these fights. That's all right. Okay. Um. Yeah. You you repair. Everything else is fine. Um. We can top up with fuel. I mean, you know, a little bit. Uh. I don't need. I don't to get cheaper fuel. Let's just top up what we need to get places. Grand Duke, we've captured the Treposcatter communication station. It will supply us with intel on enemy movements until they realize what happened. Nice. Um. Five, three, four, five. Strike groups. Okay, they're a good bit away. Um, and hit me with some trade. There, right? Ooh, hello. That could be good. Okay. Um, let the refuel and repair. Nice. Shipyard. Don't need reinforcements, so we'll just get over to the shipyard. Okay. This is good. We're, hey, we're making progress. We aren't fucked yet, you know? I mean, this game's not as complicated as I thought it would be, at least as far as I'm not, um, personally gonna bother with making my own ship. That seems a bit much. I'm happy to just use the one the game, the ones the game give me, gives me. Gap, gap, yeah. Maybe occasionally adding, like, a new gun or something, but that's about it. Shall we prepare a strike group? Actually, maybe I can download, like, a, a pack of ships or something. That'd be nice. Just to add some variety. Anyways, um, I don't need to send all of you, uh, I, w I would like to send just the fastest, but it's not exactly ideal. Maybe I don't need the Skylark anymore. Alright, send the Lightning, uh, no, actually, keep the Light, no, send the Lightning, um, fuck it. Send the Lightning and the Gladiator to back it up. I don't know what's up with that. Dragon drop. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Let's do it. This should be this should be simple. This shouldn't be a, a an issue. Did you seriously just immediately catch fire? God damn it. You need to learn to dodge. You're also, like, really good up close, so... There you go. Nice! Clean. Very clean. Perfect. Let's see what we can get out of this. Crew cabins, autopilot, fuel tanks. Um, alright. Uh, Captain's coming. Oh, shit. There's a little good shit here. Alright. Hit me with that. Uh-oh. Could use your advice here. Short, thin line. A target is a, in the center of that line. Line grid on a radar screen is replicated on the map around our squadron. It's pencil to mark the target's location on the map based on where it is on the radar screen. Okay. Um, why won't you let me... Okay. So it's up there. You have a contact, but that's all we've got. That's, like, there. Understood. Uh, 
Um, so if that's there, I should just mock it like that. Ah, oh, shit. Talk about that. Feel safe. Dismantle. New target on the radar. New target on the radar? Oh, fuck. Where are they? Ah, oh, shit. It's an all's prey. Reports integrate an unknown Jurati talking in the area north of city Shivran. Armed um, escort mandatory for all ships when navigating area. Where's Shivran? Oh, up here. Huh. Alright. That's fine. Well, we'll get some repairs in while we're here. So that thing's gonna come and whack us. In season pipe. Once the ships have landed, the city's entire population comes to greet you. The people are shouting with joy, bearing flowers and gifts. They clearly resent the Lord Governor's rule. A message from the Doyen has arrived. He says that the Doyen wishes to see us as soon as possible, but he is too old to visit us himself. Leaving our ships could be risky, Dr Grand Duke. His people will take offense if you refuse. We pay the Doyen a visit. What they told you was true. The Doyen is indeed a feeble old man. When you arrive, you find him in bed in a dark room lit only by the fireplace. He does not waste any time on words of welcome. The Doyen says that he is about to die, but the Almighty has not graced him with any children. He therefore wishes to leave his greatest treasure to you. What manner of treasure? The man by the Doyen's bedside presents you with a small box. What the fuck? Thirteen. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently, he shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. 14. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. 15. So shall he sprinkle many nations, the kings shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them shall be so shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. What is this? This is a coda, Duke. A fragment from the Book of St. Lynn, the only sacred book that survived the calamity. Most codas have been lost. The ancient families and dynasties of Alat guard and treasure the surviving codas. Are you sure it's not a fake? I'm no expert, but I've heard that the Jurati quotas are genuine. They say that the Jurati quotas contain a prophecy. A prophecy of the savior of the world. But unfortunately, all attempts to translate them have failed. This is what I said earlier. Grand Duke, sir, did you read it? But how? Look for yourself, the writing is as clear as day. I don't understand. How can you read this? What does it say, Duke? It's about some servant or other. There's more. My servant shall triumph. He hath been disfigured. He shall astound many a nation. The Doyen suddenly cries out. That's right. It's all true. The old man's shouts fade into a wheeze. My servant shall triumph. My servant shall triumph. The Doyen begins to gasp and cough from excitement. His eyes open wide. The old man's family runs to its bedside and we are asked to leave. Everyone is stunned by this event, as are we. How did you read the coda, Duke? I don't know, Pyotr. Call it a miracle if you wish. Plus one faith. You never cease to amaze me, Duke. Prince Sayadi read the coda of Garat. What a strange and wondrous day it has been. Okay, uh, I guess we're the fucking savior of the world or some shit. Take that as your will. God damn. Pair that. I believe the rest are all fine. Yeah. But, yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Hang on. I need to sell some of this to the... Yeah, I got these. I can sell these. Buy some more fuel. There we go. Um, 
fuel storage, so I wanted just, just enough to be able to get there. Alright. Hey, Neverance. Actually, Lightning's worth it. Gladiator. You need to intercept. Oh, I ran out of fuel! God damn it. Uh, that's... I can't, apparently cannot target that. Fuck it, what happens if I press this button? Nuclear armaments. Are you certain you want to do this, Duke? Once the genie is out of the bottle, we will not be able to put it back inside. Uh, yeah, never mind. We'll just live with this. That's maybe a bad idea. Um... Uh, hang on, I need a bit more fuel so I can pick up my fucking ship. There we go. Alright. Finish refueling. Um, hey, uh, Skylark, can you go pick that guy up? There we go. There you go. Um, yeah, y'all are gonna need to, like, re reconnect with me as I as I go up there, but that's fine. Wait. Oh shit, radio. Where the fuck is it? There we go. Hang on. This is a weak signal, my goodness. We'll arrive in approximately six hours. My route, Suva Goshen. Haran something cargo chemicals. That's alright, so we'll just... We'll sort of bump into it, that's fine. Oh, fuck me, another one? Arriving in less than an hour, average speed 110. Okay, that's probably the same thing. Just trying to fucking fuel up. There we go. Alright. We're going to Suva. And you guys are gonna rejoin me. There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? No. There we go. No, we got him back. I knew that would work out. There we go. Alright, let's go. Yes, General. Send out. Send just the lightning this time. I want them to be nice and fast. There we go. Price ship transport. Yep, that's fine. Lightning's real quick. We should be able to do some good shit here. There we go. So we can dodge that shit too. Or get hit. Oh, that ain't great. That's not great. That's a real bad start. There we go. Got one. Go. There we go. Not a Holy shit. That one fucking exploded. There we go, nice! Hell yeah, one ship. Took them all down. 
Good shit. Lightning leveled up. 20 cent more maneuverable. Shoot team will repair the ship. Cruising range. No. More maneuverable in combat. Alright. We're not going to get the crew cabins. Um, it's fine if that ex I, it's not a massive concern. Yeah, whatever. Get that. If you can get that. Uh, hit that. There we go. Good shit. And we can land. Alright. Yeah. This one's gonna be a little spicy, but we should be okay. Come on. And you go. There we go. Slow it down. You're, you're a real maneuverable ship. That's why I like you. Come on. Nice and slow. You're gonna be landing on an engine, but that's alright. It happens. You're not in a good spot, so... Easy, easy. There we go. Nice. Good shit. Alright. Uh, I can sell that, make a little cash back. Repair the lightning. You sell missiles? You don't sell missiles, do you? I never sell any fucking missiles. Oh well. You can get fuel, though. Oh boy, can we get fuel. Alright. All right, we're good. Harrier. That's 55 hours ago. That's probably not there anymore. All right. Let's keep going. Make steady progress. Not great, but steady. Radio. Arrival in Lear, going at speed. Blank, refuel required on arrival. Okay. In Lear, eh? That's a ways off, actually. That's fine. Attention, new target on the radar. Where? That's slightly concerning. Attention, new target on the radar. That's very concerning. Oh, boy. There they are. Let them lead. Identified ship. Warning, radar emission detected. What's hostile radar signal? Oh boy. It'll intend to calculate the approximate bearing to target. A radar signal is a telltale sign of a considerably well armed ship. If we're close enough to detect their radar, si radar signal, that means they're close enough to detect ours. I'd rather keep our way dials quiet for now, Duke. Just to be clear, this button turns off the squadron's radar systems on and off. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we're sending a big strike team ahead here. Leave the Navarins just in case, but I'll send the rest of them. Alright, this is going to be a thing. Attack most vulnerable sites. Yep. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Alright. 
Are any on the ground? There they are. There we go. Got him. Getting better at the maneuvering. It's not easy, actually. It's real hard to maneuver this shit. The hell? Oh shit, did I, like, black my dude out? The fuck? Yeah, wow, the G-forces are too much. Holy shit. That's not something I expected to see. Alright. Ah, get the fuck out. That just... Get out. Damn. It's a lost ship. That's, that fucking sucks. Another one down. I'm good ships. Kill confirmed. confirmed. Alright, I think that's all the important ones. We got the prize ships. And we lost a lot of crew. Fuck. Uh, at least we got gold back. Alright. Let's... I want survivors first. Got him. The Irish supports a heat target? What? Infrared search and track detects and calculates the bearing of all heat sources. Excels at detecting airborne and grounded ships alike. The Earth has a much smaller detecting range, however, it is completely undetectable. If the signal isn't strong enough, aim the system with this control knob to focus it in a specific direction. The RO readings will be destroyed on this screen in higher detail. What the fuck? It was with that knob, right? The hell? What do you mean, danger close? There? There. I don't fucking see anything. Oh god. Guess we'll just aim it at that and see? Wait, no, it's 240? What? Attention, visual contact. Visual contact of what? I did it, is. Uh oh. Defending against planes. Anti-air missile system. What the fuck just happened? Holy shit. Holy shit. This is not good. They sent the fucking carriers against us. Jesus Christ. We alright? I think we're good. Oh, fuck me. That was not great. Jesus. Oh, I got everyone back at least. Fucking hell. What happened? Oh. 
An accident. The hydrogen in the batteries. Oh. Oh, fuck. Well, that sucks. Alright. I don't want to land. Flagship Quartermaster visits you with a report. There are far too many firearms missing on several of the ships in your squadron. The officers claim they were lost in battle, but the Quartermaster suspects theft. He thinks someone in the squadron has been systematically pilfering firearms. Begin. They are busy in the... Yeah, just listen. Investigate. It's important. We need fuel. Holy shit, do we need fuel. Ship works. Please repair. Please repair. We can sell this. I think we need to go and buy some reinforcements once we're done. It's still fucking danger close, are you kidding me? Oh boy. Not a great spot to be in. Where? Oh, fuck me. He'll in danger. Still that way, right? Oh, fuck. What, what the fuck is that? A Soyuz. Oh, this... Oh, Jesus. Um... Shit. Shit, this is not good. Repairing. Uh, hang on, if I send the Wanda U3 to intercept. There we go, they're in the air now, that's the important part. I needed them not landed. Oh, fuck. What the hell is this? Where'd these come from? Oh, that's an interception missile. Great. Dodge. Dodge. Fuck. Angela. Yep. Alright. Retreat. Retreat. Fuck out! Oh no 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 no! Don't fucking crash and burn! Get out! Just get the fuck out of that ship! God damn it! Fuck! Oh, that's great fun. Uh, yeah, that's not a great spot to be in. Come on. Don't even retreat. There's nothing left. Load in the fucking thing. Holy shit. Get out.
Oh shit. Fuck. Great. Um, I think we're fucked. Oh, we're definitely fucked. They, they left us. Yep, here we go. We are definitely dead. We are not surviving this. Oh no. Uh. Oh Jesus Christ. One of you fuckers down? God damn. I don't I feel like this thing's not taking much damage from me. Yeah. Oh, let's see if we can run. Uh probably not. You never know. Just get out. Get out. Alright, can the Sevastopol save the day? Time to find out. Probably not. With big fuck off guns. That's one down. Holy shit. How the fuck did we survive that? Um, I think we're doomed. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're doomed. Oh god. Can I get survivors? That'd be nice. Oh. And that's that. Alright then. Well, we have basically nothing left. So that's fun. And the alarm's raised. Okay, we're turning our radar back on. Okay, so, basically what's happening here is that we are fucked seven ways from Sunday. And, uh, gonna take weight. Okay, where are they? There it is. Oh, back, back on. Average having uh, heading northeast cargo chemicals. Okay, that's fun. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. The next thing that comes to fight us is just gonna murder us. Actually, speaking of, can I get like? Some missiles or some shit? Oh, I can sell this shit. Y'all got missiles in there? Armor. Armor. Hell. 
Extra so fuel tanks, hull parts. Can I just like buy some shit from the supply store. Gladiator can take that. Sure, why not? A gladiator, right? That's got like. Oh. Okay. So I've got the special ammunition. I don't know how to use it. Hang on. I'm gonna just real quick Google this. High Fleet Special Ammo. How do you use special ammo? On the pre-combat screen, okay. Sure. Oh, right. Right, this game's alt tabbing is a little weird. So. Oh, we are definitely fucked. Alright. So. Oh, god damn it, what now? Position heading northeast. Fires of arrival, hello carbon. Okay. I know Goshen is dangerous. We don't have time to not be. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a fleet eight. Fuck it. Fuck it. I want to not die. Let's press the funny button. He didn't warn me that time. Well, look at it go. Hmm. Uh, eto... May the Almighty have mercy on our souls. Oh no, a war crime. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's keep repairing a ship. What could possibly go wrong? The enemy intel would be nice. Zipted a uh, transmission required. Uh, regarding our arrival at Goshen. Now the enemy knows we're here. <sighs> Alright, let's get the fuck out. Might be able to repair our ships in full. It's fine. I know we need to leave. Attention, new target on the radar. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, that's not good. Ow, ow. Fucking bombers. Alright, that happened. You just blow up all that shit. Oh, whatever. Thermal signature detected. I, I know, I just... Not right now. No, we need to hit them with everything we've got. We don't have time to not. Hey, right, let's try and get this shit. I should use this thing in more fights, huh? That's what it gets for being a flagship, I guess. Alright, let's see what we can get. Uh, we'll 
depiction. There we go. All right. Time to land. You, and actually one might as well land both of them. All right. Take it down for the landing. I know what that other ship is. Is that mine? Can I have it? I'd like to have that ship. All right, Tarkin. Oh, I'll be damned. You hear God's loud voice telling you to stop, and an armed man on that aft deck is watching you. He just is for you to stay back. The moment you take another step forward, the ship fires a warning shot. The projectile whizzes and sizzles as it soars into the heavens. Have they lost their minds? Do they even realize he's standing before them? We'll stay here and wait. A man disembarks from the ship and walks towards you. His uniform and insignia are not, unfamil are not familiar to you. He acknowledges you with a polite bow as he approaches. You never expected to be graced by your presence, Grand Duke. I must apologize for my men. In the name of the Empire, I welcome you. Truly it is so. Holy shit, I can... My name is Yitzhak Ra. We are at war with Kiva Takan. Perhaps we can be allies. He's a very proud Romani. Importance of faith in times of trouble. He is unbelieving. Rip. Okay. On the dangers of faith and the superstition it brings. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I didn't realize. Anyways. Very proud of the woes of the people and how you wish to aid them. He is kind. Nice. Let's see how much more we can get out of this. Give you a deep sense of respect for the Tarkin. Oh, he's afraid of me. Have a bronze icon. Rip. I may have fucked it. He despises wealth, yay. Okay. Um <laughs> There we go. Nice. Will you join us? I will join you gladly, Grand Duke. Hooray. Tarkin living to the south and one to the northwest. Okay. Nice. An actual fucking ship. Let's repair while we're here. Some supplies. Top up on fuel. Alright. I forgot to check that fucking special ammo thing. Whatever. It's fine. Um, alright. So we got that, got that. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, we already nuked one thing. What's the harm? Oh, no, war crime, anyway. Rival in. Oh, that's fine. We can go to Um! Oh boy! Everyone's favorite. Oh shit, I should probably do that, huh? They're encoding their communications now, Grand Duke. Next time we have wreckage, we should look for a radio room and find the keys to their code. Okay. 
Well, that's fun. Son of Sayadi Elsa here to meet with you. Huh. Okay. And another one! Holy shit. And that one's encoded. Okay. How many fucking signals are there? I know it, just do it automatically. Yeah, alright. That'd be nice. And another one! Just, is it, it, yeah. Son of here to meet with you. Yeah, I know. We got that last time. They're up this way, whatever that means. Oh boy. Encoded again. Alright. Holy shit. I can't keep fucking doing these. Yeah, alright. Let's. Rare modules, fast with mercenaries. We should go here. Coded. Yep. Yep. Encoded. Oh my god, they're all encoded. Shall we prepare a strike group? Yes. We've not got much, but I don't want to alert them while we're re recovering. So I can send these two along. Send them forward. Oh, what is that? That's a bike hole. We can leave it. Alright. We should be able to handle this. You know, hypothetically. I forgot to do the, ra the ammo thing again. Fuck. Look, I'm not expecting to survive this round. Oh, fuck me. Well, that ain't great. Okay, oh, yeah, we're losing engines. We're getting the fuck out. Kill the fucking thing. Is this thing not dead yet? Actually, you know how many bullets I put in this thing? I don't always count. That's not great. 
Yo, one. Only one now. Jesus. Down. Come on. Got him! Yes! Holy shit, we pulled it off. Hell yeah. Okay. Radio room. I've got one of them. Bible's left inside. Um, cannon, cannon. Oh, great, let's get some ammo. Alright. We'll take it. And we made it! Okay. Actually, not dead. That's more than I expected. See if we can get this in the 50, that'd be nice. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I believe. I believe in you. Easy landing and just real soft and gentle like. Yeah, I know, that's fine. This thing hasn't got much help going for it. I'll land you in the 12. Alright. Let's try not to crash you. Not that I have much hope of that. Oh well. It's fine. I'll take it. Yeah, I know. That's fine. That's fine. It's good enough. An incident in the city. Your presence is urgently requested at the main hatch. There's a large and agitated crowd of locals gathered below the ship. On the way there, you learn the reason for their outrage. One of your men started to fight in the city and killed someone in a gash-induced frenzy. The crowd falls silent as they see your silhouette in an open hatch. They await your decision. We will hold a public trial. Holy shit. Let's repair our shit. Hear that, sell these. I really need more, just, just more ships in general. I'll take anyone. Lightning. And I'm out of funds, that's alright. Got two new chefs, that's a big enough deal. Alright. Oh, God. I don't know if I should type. Okay. Thermal signature detected. Oh. Uh. Attention, new target on the radar. Oh, uh, fuck. New target on the radar. I think we just Attention, barely dodged something radar. deadly. Attention, new target on the radar. Those missiles? Uh, wait a minute. Tactical missile- oh! 
Uh oh. Ship has been equipped with anti air missile systems. So we have five AA. Well, that was close. Are we alive? Are we alive? We're alive. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That was just like a nuclear missile in the sky. Is the holy shit? Oh god, there's another one. Why are there so many of these fucking things? Why are there so many fucking nuclear missiles in the sky? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna die. We are going to die. There's another one. Oh god, there's another one. No, 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 Uh oh. Are we dead? We're alive? We're alive! I think, I think we lost the ship. I think we've lost the ship. Okay. I was just... Oh god, look at... Uh, oh Jesus Christ, everything's dead. Everyone has died. We have lost a ship. We are in a bad spot. Oh god. Okay. Um, well... You see... We are... Um... Fucked, I think would be the word. We literally can't repair. Oh... Fuck... Um... Oh god, no, no, we need to get the fuck out of here. Um... Where has repairs? Where can we go to repair? Shipyard, that's been nuked. Okay. Um... Uh... There. It's fine, we don't, we can't repair here. We are, we are going to die. We are going to die. Okay, so that's what it means by special ammo. We are on fire about five times over. Oh, we just lost to Sebastopol. Um, I think that's game. Yep. Yeah, I think we're done. We got like, what, like two things left? This thing's pretty light, maybe you can... Yeah, no. We're done. I'll try hitting it in the head. Hey, that's weak... That one weak spot's the captain's, uh... Thing. That was a fun run. We nuked some dudes, got nuked. You know, you know how it is. And we're on fire, okay. Let's get the fuck out. Try not to die? Probably gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die.
We are still on fire. I don't have any guns on this one. Well. Oh yeah, this is my tanker ship. Why, why are you in combat? You literally don't have any guns. I shouldn't even have brought you. Alright, out we go. Hmm. Well then. Game over. Yeah, I think that's a game over. Ah, well. Added as bonus funds at the beginning of your next campaign. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, that was fucked, but that game's pretty fun. I could see myself playing this again if I ever get the, the feeling for that sort of tactical roguelike shit. Uh, <laughs> bit of a quiet day, but that does feel on brand for this game. It's fucking atmospheric as hell. Like, holy shit. This was so, that was impressive to the level of detail of just every single thing in that game feeling impactful. God damn. All right. Well, I had fun. Um, I appreciate anyone who was viewing, even if you just had it on in the background. Yellen is all looking at you. Um, you know, it was a good time. And I'm going to go have lunch. Thank you to anyone else who's watching the VOD as well. Be sure to follow, Discord, the usual. It's all in the about stuff. If you're on YouTube, you can check on my Twitch and stuff. But yeah, and I'm going to send a raid of whoever is still here over to Dagda. Y'all have fun and take care.